So I thought I would record um, the process of how I uh, work a track up from an idea to, well, we might get as far as a finished track. Let's see. So for today's work, I have a, I have a song called The Man You See In Me. Um, I have the chord sequence. I have quite a lot of lyrics. I don't have any idea at the moment about the arrangement and even the structure. I might want to change some bits around. So what I'm going to do first is just record the chunks that I have and then I'll use Reaper to uh, arrange them into a structure. So the first job is to figure out what the time, what the beats per minute should be. So I'm just going to play this with nothing on at the moment and listen. Right, that seems a bit fast for the, the song that I've got in my head, so I'll try 110. Yeah, that sounds like roughly what how the song sounds in my head. So the next step will be to mic up my acoustic guitar and record some basic snippets. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to record um, the, the, the chord sequence for a verse. Just check that it sounds okay. Okay, it's not perfectly in time, but um, this is just for a structure, so I'm going to normalize that to make it a bit louder. And Just get the beginning and end. And all that becomes what Reaper calls a region. And now I can uh, copy or duplicate that region wherever I want. Um, I have another little sequence. I'm just going to make a region out of that as well. I'm just going to record it and uh, do the same thing. tidy that up and then I'll have two regions. Okay so <clears throat> to bring us up to date um, I've got the two sections I've recorded. I've coloured these and named them verse and midsection um, and I've also got a few different ideas for little joining bits to, to link one section to another. So one goes like this. Then 
Then another one goes like this. And another one. All very Beatles-y. Um, so now that I've got these sections, I'm going to uh, take a bit of time to think about what I've got in the way of lyrics and um, how these sections might work together. So for example, um, I have a feeling that, that the introduction to the song might be this a repeat of this midsection. So I'm just going to see if I can drag that along. Yeah, so now I've got an intro before the verse. Sounds a bit long, I might not use it all, but um, this is the kind of thing that I'm going to be thinking about um, for the next little bit. So I'll pause this video and I'll think. Right, where we are now, um, I realised that the part that I recorded for the verse actually included a little bit of link, so I've trimmed the verse back. And I've put one of these links in here. So it goes, the verse goes like. leads into another verse here so I'm going to drag another copy of that so now we can have a verse It doesn't flow perfectly, but that doesn't matter because this is just making up the structure. Once I know the structure, then I'll play a new guitar track all the way through. Um, I'm just going to normalize that so that it's equal volume with the rest. And um, I'll carry on building up the structure this way. 